A few months ago, I learned the front roll, the dynamic muscle up, and the swing 180. I can do each of them individually. So naturally, the next step is to combine them and do my first mini calisthenics freestyle combo. This was surprisingly difficult for me. If you are one of the talented people who can learn it instantly, congratulations! But if you are like me, in the video, I will share with you the difficulties I experienced and how I overcame them. The biggest difficulty for this combo is that the momentum after the swing 180 is so big that it throws off the timing of how I do the dynamic muscle up. When I do the dynamic muscle up starting from the ground, I can keep my legs and hips low, pump out my chest to create some momentum, kick out my legs, and thrust my hips towards the bar. Then my body will pop onto the bar automatically. However, when there is a huge momentum coming in, it's impossible to keep the legs and hips low. Pumping the chest doesn't seem to make sense since there is already so much momentum. Kicking up the legs results in the legs being way above the bar, and I end up being in a position where my hips aren't underneath the bar, so no matter how I thrust my hips, I won't be anywhere close to popping onto the bar. I watch as many dynamic muscle up tutorials on YouTube as possible, but none of them explains how to do it with a huge momentum coming in. I watch people doing it in competition highlights again and again, but it was still hard for me to understand the movement. I started a long journey of trial and error to figure out the right technique. The biggest difficulty was that sometimes I eventually got one part of the technique right, but I still couldn't pop onto the bar since the other part of the technique was still wrong. So I ended up doubting whether this new change of technique was right, and sometimes I ended up switching back to the old wrong technique because the new right technique didn't seem to be working. There were so many of these kinds of back and forth in my journey, and if I show all of them, this video will become too long. So I'm going to simply show you what is right and what is wrong. The first mistake I made was doing a kick during the front swing. I learned this technique when doing the swing 180 because kick generates more power. However, when doing the dynamic muscle up, you actually want to do the complete opposite by arching the back and pointing the toes down to stop the momentum. This was counterintuitive to me because freestyle is supposed to be dynamic. This move is also called dynamic muscle up, so intuitively, I would imagine the more momentum, the better. The reason why you want to stop the momentum is that this will get you closer to the same position if you start the dynamic muscle up from the ground. It will keep the legs and hips as low as possible, so you will have enough room to wind up for the kick up. You should feel a little contraction at the lower back when you execute this technique correctly. The second mistake I made was kicking up immediately after arching the back and pointing the toes down to stop the momentum. Arching the back and pointing the toes down to stop the momentum for a split second isn't enough. You actually want to pause in this position for 2 seconds in your mind, and then initiate the kick. In reality, your body will only slow down instead of pausing due to the huge momentum coming in. Again, this was very counterintuitive to me because pausing is literally the opposite of dynamic, which is what calisthenics freestyle is all about. The third mistake I made was bringing the hips up when kicking up. This was a very difficult mistake to discover. However, it naturally happens when there's a huge momentum coming in. What you actually want to do is not bring the hips up when kicking up. The best way to figure out whether you are doing this right is to see if your hamstrings have the same stress sensation when you do the forward fold. If you kick up without bringing the hips up, you should feel the stretch sensation on the hamstrings. Otherwise, if you bring the hips up while kicking up, you will mainly feel the stretch at the lower back. The fourth mistake I made was not initiating the pull and hip thrust at the highest point of the kick up. Although this sounds like common sense, I made this mistake due to the previous mistake. If I bring the hips up while kicking up, when my legs are at the highest point, the hips won't be underneath the bar, so a hip thrust wouldn't make sense. I thought I had to delay the pull and hip thrust, and let gravity pull my body down for a few seconds until my hips were below the bar, and then finally initiated the pull. Although this makes hip thrusting possible, the body gets really confused because it's already falling downwards, but you are trying to go up, which is counterproductive for generating power. My guess is someone really good at calisthenics freestyle could still probably pop onto the bar in this scenario, but for beginners like us, this is a mistake. The fifth mistake I made was pulling too hard with the arms. Even though I already knew the dynamic muscle up shouldn't be a strength based move, I still constantly wonder if not pulling hard enough is the reason why I can't pop up. 
If you have enough strength for doing a normal keeping muscle up, not pulling hard enough should never be the problem. If you try to pop up mainly by pulling hard with the arms instead of thrusting the hips towards the bar, you will never get up because this is not the normal muscle up. The sixth mistake I made was forcing the transition by consciously turning the wrists. I know I don't have to force the wrist to turn during the normal strength based muscle up. It will happen naturally if you pull hard enough. So chances should be pretty high that forcing the wrist to turn isn't necessary for a dynamic muscle up as well. However, when I was frustrated and nothing was working, I started to even doubt this. So no, don't make the same mistake as I did, thinking you have to potentially force the wrist to turn. I trained and trained and trained. After so many frustrating sessions and so many frustrating attempts and piecing everything together to avoid all six mistakes, this happened. Oh. I was able to replicate the success of the dynamic muscle up when I created an artificial controlled momentum from the swing. Getting a hang of it. However, when I tried to chain the swing 180 with a dynamic muscle up, for some reason, I still couldn't do it. The seventh and final mistake I made was training this whole thing at a park. Luckily, my guy Brandon Williams introduced me to the owner of the gymnastic gym called Jimny Kids. The moment I started training in Jimny Kids, I regretted not training there earlier. It feels so much safer training dynamic moves there because of all the safety majors and how large the space is. I feel so much more confident to go all in and try hard because I didn't have to subconsciously worry about protecting myself from hitting stuff or falling onto the hard ground. I actually discovered that this bar in the park actually stopped me from swinging as hard as I could. Additionally, there are experienced ex-gymnast staff there who will talk to you and give you tips occasionally if they see that you are stuck in something, which will significantly speed up your progress. I started to attempt the swing 180, the dynamic muscle up, and the front row combo. Soon enough, this happened. I was super excited about doing my first ever calisthenics freestyle combo even though it looked kind of ugly, but hey, I will happily take it as a win. And I can't wait to work on the next move for my calisthenics freestyle journey. To recap the technique of doing the dynamic muscle with momentum, first, arch your back and point your toes down, but keep your legs straight. Second, mentally pause for 2 to 3 seconds. Third, kick up without bringing your hips up. Fourth, thrust your hips up as hard as you can when your legs are at the highest point and make sure not to pull too hard. If you execute all these correctly, you should be able to pop onto the bar. Thanks for watching. If you are in San Diego, no matter if you are a parent or a calisthenics or gymnastic practitioner yourself, definitely check out Gym Knee Kids. My experience of it has been amazing. And this information is in the video description below. Lastly, as we all know, Mainstream climbing brands refuse to sponsor average climbers like myself. Therefore, I have no choice but to create my own brand to sponsor myself. I recently launched my own healthy premium food bar called 5 Bar. Make sure to click the link in the video description below to find out more and place an order. Get healthy and support the channel at the same time. See you in the next video.